in this video, we will be reacting to Looney featuring Flo G. Be Kit. So what are y'all be waiting for? Let's go. And this right here is a collab that everybody has been waiting for, asking for, and praying for. Dime. We finally get to see it. So excited for this one. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Good acting from Kiko Matos, man. Look at this. Lupit tao dito sa mga to, eh. Wala ka ng ina nyo. Looney? Di ba matanda na to? Bukit ng ina mo. Mag-retire ka na, gago. Antayin nyo lang itong sinusulat. Ako! Ako ang tunay na artist! Ang ina lahat kayo, mga fake! Look at this lang kayo, mapukin ng ina nyo! Explicit words! Ina nyo! Ako ang tunay! This is how... ...haters are. Alright, let's see. Alam dyan na kung bakit ka busit Dibdib sumisikip Hirap ka nang itago ang bilib Kung piyansa ay may chance ang lumiit Galit at inggit magkadikit Kung ayaw mo makita pumikit Takot ka tenga kung ayaw mo marinig Basta di ako magtitigom ng bibig Huwag ka mag-internet kung ayaw mainggit Kung ayaw mo makita pumikit Takot ka tenga kung ayaw mo marinig Basta di ako magtitigom Magpapahuli ba ko? Mga Lodi Sila Plodgy Tsaka Loni Nagkolabo Mga piling sikat Hindi naman kilala masyado Mga pekin pa na yan pa bang masap ang ngalan Afisyonado Bars Isa lang sa auto-tune Kasi si Tornado At tsaka isang nila lang na nila lang yung tao Bakit tinitingwala nyo? Parang santo itrato Di yan taling tato Dapat yan ginagawa Ayaw mo makita pumikin Dapat sa tenga kung ayaw mo marinig Basta di ako magtitigom ng bibig Huwag ka mag-internet kung ayaw mainggit Kung ayaw mo makita kung bigit Takip ka tenga kung ayaw mo marinig Basta di ako magtitigo ng bibig Huwag ka mag-internet kung ayaw mainggit Kung ayaw mo makita kung bigit Kung hater ka, wala kang utak Kapag ingkitike, tapos istay per antalukap Buga na vape ko, parang ulap sa mukha ng mga fake One of the greatest, no debate, walang katulad Kung ako sa'yo ay kakato ka muna bago pasok Huwag ka kumag Huwag kang sasagot o sasabat pag di ka usap Yung pag-usag ng iba, yung inato pag mahap Di ka pa sa hiwa na ang sariwa pa na sugat Dapat di ka na matulan ang mga tulad mo Masurang, palamunin ang magulang Palamuti lang ang utak Sa pali para muling matulad Matauhan, sobrang lakas tanggal ang balaku Baka kapunan mo sa akin bakura Nakalimutan mo na magapunan Isa ka lagi sa unang di ako makalimutan Lagi nag-aabala, matyagang matyagang matyagan ako Tapos kapag dayabangan, nagtataka pa Tasa ka pa, di mo ko masasawata Magsawa ka sa kakamata Di ka na nakakawala, tapos di ka pa makahalata Ngayon sino ka nakakatawa ko Alam ko na kung bakit ka busit Di pa sumisikip Hirap ka nang itago ang bilip Ubiansa ay may chance ang lumiit Galit sa tingit, huwag ka dikit Kung ayaw mo makita ko Takip ka tenga kung ayaw mo marinig Basta di ako magtitigom ng bibig Tayo kapatid Huwag ka mag-internet kung ayaw mainggit Kung ayaw mo makita kung higit Takip ka tenga kung ayaw mo marinig Basta di ako magtitigom ng bibig Tayo kapatid Huwag ka mag-internet kung ayaw mainggit Kung ayaw mo makita kung higit Huwag ka nang dumilat pa ulit Huwag ka nang dumilat pa ulit Alam ko na kung bakit ka busit Dibdib sumisikip Hirap ka nang itago ang bilip Kung piyansa ay may chance ang lumiit Galit at inggit magkadikit Kung ayaw mo makita ko bigit Oh man Damn Damn Bro Man what can I say Man this right here is an Easy, easy S there, man. This are the kind of song that you don't even have to listen to it, man. The moment you saw Looney's name in there, 
Flow G, you already know. You already know. You know what I'm saying? That this two are going to deliver not only a great song, but a masterpiece. And that's what we got in here. Man, you don't even have to rate this, man. This is a disrespect if you even have to rate this one. Bro, because you already know. You already know. And shout outs to the acting of Kiko Matos and the entirety of the music video, man. It's so freaking fire, man. I don't even know what I don't even know what to say, but Rob, just for the purpose of doing a reaction in this one, man, to me, this is an easy, easy S tier. And let me tell you my reasons why. Man, number one, bro, you, you can definitely see the overflowing of chemistry between Looney and Flo G. Man, these are two of the best, you know what I'm saying, at both ends of generations. You know what I'm saying? It's like the best of this generation meets the best of this generation. You know what I'm saying? And they meet both at their prime. I would even say that, you know, it's still Looney's prime. People be saying, like, you know, Looney's prime was, like, way back how long. Man, I agree to one of the comments I've read on this song saying that Looney is, like, the LBJ of Filipino rap. I agree to that, man. I, it was not for me. It was one of the comments, but I truly agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because since we have seen Looney versus Zaito flipped up like that was like what 10 years ago man Looney never gave us something that is eh, so so you know what I'm saying he just gets stronger every year he just got stronger from that moment on to this Looney that we're seeing right now you know what I'm saying that's the case with Looney and man you really have to respect him for that I totally agree with that man he definitely is one of the greatest of all times you know what I'm saying? He is truly the LBJ of Filipino rap because, man, as the year goes by, as, as the time goes by, man, this guy just gets stronger. You know what I'm saying? He has one of the longest prime in hip-hop in the Philippines. Man, no disrespect to other legends out there, but, bruh, you cannot deny that. You know, that Looney is, is the Looney Hari ng Tugma since they freaking won, man. What else can we talk, man? This right here is the ultimate form of sarcasm. You know what I'm saying? Why do I say this? Man, this right here uh, is on the levels of Eminem and 50 Cent in addressing haters. It's almost comedic, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Because the way, I mean, if, if you look at the entire music video and you watch and you listen to the lyrics again, man, they are trolling their trolls <laughs> they are trolling the trolls you know i can think of a better way to do that artistically than this you know what i'm saying so this to me is almost comedic but it's not you know what i'm saying because the way they address the trolls is by trolling them you know what i'm saying imagine addressing haters and troll with overflowing what rhyme scheme multis double entendres man Damn, right? You must be one special hater <laughs> or troll for, for that. But this also goes to show that, you know, uh, though at the level of Looney and Floji, they're operating at such high level, man, it also goes to show that they have a level of awareness in the current landscape of Philippine hip-hop scene. And people will be like, oh, man, that's obvious. No, 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 no. Let me tell you this. There are other people when they got to the top, man, the, their achieve, achievements and all these things that goes with it, the glitz and the glamour, you know, the fame gets into their head. And they feel as if the world, the entire music industry, the entire uh, uh, rap game, the entire landscape revolves around them. You know what I'm saying? Not the other way around. And this just goes to show that even though Looney and Flo G-Man is, whew, man, we can, we don't even have to talk about, man. These, again, are the best of two generations at their prime still right now. Still, their ears, you know, and, and their awareness is so open in the current landscape of the Philippine uh, hip-hop scene. So, like, damn, sh whew, that is, man, that's something to get, you gotta give to, to these artists, man. You gotta respect them. Another thing, man, I love about the song is you, uh, the, the accusation audit part. The accusation audit part in the song. 
um, this uh, accusation audit is as if yung pinipredict mo na or you are saying what the other, uh, what you know the other person is thinking of. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, when when Floji said, um, ah, when Looney said on this song, uh, Flo, uh, people hates Floji because uh, he is nakaasa lang sa sa autotune, sentinado siya, and then si Luni naman is, why do you respect yung sang tao lang, na nila lang, lang yung tao, referring to the song na tao lang, so like, that's an accusation audit, they are all, they, what they're basically saying is, I know what, I, we know the negatives that you are thinking about us, or saying about us, we know, and then inunahan na, like, it is as if um Eminem, Eminem uh, popularized that on the, on the eight mile um movie right when he already said all the negatives that the the, the battle mc on the other side could could say against him so uh with your with your doing is that you are defanging tinatagal mo ng pangil yung kanilang punchline para pag sinabi nila yun, like guess what i already said that so they're they're taking bullets out of their opponent. That's what they're doing, and I love that. That's uh, that accusation audit part. I also love the double entendre, triple entendre, maybe on the word uh, aficionado or double entendre rather. The word aficionado. Why? Because aficionado, of course, it's uh, a brand of uh, perfume, the Philippines, right? Labi, mahilig magpabango, mga peking, mahilig lang magpabango ng pangalan. Parang aficionado, parang ganun yung line. But the punchline was aficionado. Why do I love that as a double entendre? Not only that aficionado means like yung pabango, but aficionado means someone who is knowledgeable, who has very extensive knowledge or an is enthusiastic uh, at, at a certain subject, at a certain field. To, to even to an extent, People would even use the word aficionado to refer to someone as an expert. Why is it then a smart double and tender punchline? Because part of the word before, uh, part of the line Floji said before they get to the word punchline is peke. Imagine it's very contradicting. Sabi ni Floji peke, but aficionado means someone who is truly knowledgeable, an expert, someone who is really good at a certain subject, a certain thing. So, peke ba or expert ba? Now, I'm saying, the way they, they structure that line is very, very good. I love that, man. This line goes a, a lot on, uh, you know, everybody's head because of, you know, the obvious first meaning, yung aficionado is a perfume, but the second meaning goes a lot deeper. Peke and then aficionado, it's contra uh, ironic and it, it's very contradicting. I also love the double meaning in piquet. Why? Because uh, at first piquet, uh, the chorus is very straightforward. It's saying, uh, piquet lang. If you don't want to see us, just close your eyes. If you want to hear us, just cover your ears. But at the very tail end of the song, Looney is already addressing it in another way, saying, piquet lang. Now, like, die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the first one is just close your eyes, give it a blind eye. Ayo mo kami makita. Iko ne magjas, iko ne umiwas. Close your eye, give it a blind eye. But the second part, the very tail end, Looney is being direct, saying, "If you're a hater, guess what? You die. Uh, close your eyes permanently." So that that is a double entendre as well in this uh, title, Picket. So I love that, man. Th these are the things that I really enjoy. All the other things, man. Uh, will it'll be an hour here if we go like they say all the greatness of this song. But to me, those are the three things I really enjoy. Man, this right here is obviously one of the best collabs, if not the best collabs this year. You know what I'm saying? This right here, man. I can't think of anything possible right now that could top this. Maybe, you know, this is just me. You know what I'm saying? Like, just a fantasy. You know what I'm saying? Are you guys familiar with fantasy football or uh, fantasy basketball, right? If it was for me, my fantasy of this song... Imagine if Costa Lee did the hook. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if in this song, Costa Lee did the hook. Damn, that would be... This This is then going to be on a different, different level in so many reasons, in so many ways, and shapes, and form. Why so? Because, man, you gotta admit, Costa Lee is one of the hottest artists the Philippines can offer, right? He is. Along with it, he is also one of the most 
Nathan, <laughs> artist, right? The, uh, in the Philippines right now. So imagine three the most three of the best at their prime and three of the most I mean hated right damn yes yeah Looney is still hated by so many people like for his age you know they're saying that oh you're you're old just 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 as Kiko Matos uh, um, script earlier uh, saying uh, ah, you're too old it's time for you to retire you know but man greatness knows no age you know what I'm saying this these are the greatest man of each generation if not, you know what I'm saying? If if not the, the greatest, these are the best that each generation has to offer. These are the best the music industry, the Philippines has to offer. So man, that is just my 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 thought of this, man. I but you know, that that's just my fantasy, man. I can't wait for this to be performed to Wish Buzz as well. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that would be fire. This on a wish bus, you know, for sure. People are going to flood everywhere, you know what I'm saying? When these two hit this one uh, on, the, uh, on the wish bus. One thing I, I've realized, though, the entire theme of the song, this is almost, this is just me. I don't know if you had the same feeling, but this is almost as a continuation of Aral. No? The the song uh, Looney with Abra, Apex, and uh, Ron. Aral, why so? Because on Looney's part on Aral, I remember his lines there that he is talking about himself, that he is already old in in the the game, in the rap scene, and so many new young rappers are emerging and somehow hating on him, right? Because he's old. Sabi niya don one of his lines, um, dinaan ko niya ata sa experience siya, anong ganon parang veterano na dinaan na lang niya sa experience why he is still in in the game so right this this is somehow like you know uh, a continuation why do you say it's a continuation because this right here is not specifically for for you know an average fan hating remember what Kiko Matos represent here is an artist he is also an artist right the very first uh, part of the music video it was like he's writing lines man I'm I'm Kalinko, Talino, I'm one of the best. He is an artist. So they are not just specific. They are not just like shooting fire everyone who's hating on them. On the music video, judging just by the music video itself. Again, I know that this goes to all the haters, to all the trolls, to all those, you know, who doesn't like them. But judging, just judging the music video itself, right? They are very specific about what? Artists that hates on them. Right, so to me, it feels as if this is a continuation of Looney's part on Aral. So, and, and another part of that is because on Aral, right at the very end, um, that music video showed that graduate na, right? Uh, Looney, Ron, Abra, and, and and Apex graduated, right, from school. And this one, Looney is already a judge, and he got, uh, uh he has this line on. Aral about being the maestro and here in the man he becomes the judge so like the gradual development of Looney just as I was saying earlier this uh, Looney is just getting stronger every year you know what I'm saying so you know that is just me now so if you go back to Aral and you watch this it is as, as if man a continuation you know of of that song bro man Looney and and, and Floji showed us levels why they are the best. Now I'm saying there's no discussion, there's no debate. You just got gotta give it to them. It has their time. It is as if you know. Remember when like D Rose, Derek Rose, though to those who you know loves basketball, was on his prime. Man, LeBron was doing great as well. But you gotta give it to D Rose. D Rose was different. On his on his prime, and this feels as if like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, like two two of the best at their prime, man, not going head to head, but like teaming up. This is a super team right here. But you know, more than anything else, I just want to uh, address as well the humility of both artists, man. Why do I say this? Because you know, for you to be. Humility of both artists, Looney and Fuji. You see, for you to be 
uh, to be the best, to, to be consistent, to, to be at this level as Looney is operating at right now. Since day one to this very day, you have to be a student of the game. You know what I'm saying? Right? That's why there's always a debate in basketball debate. About, oh, 90s, hindi ubra ng, uh, er, uh, ng current generation ngayon, your current generation athletes, the basketball ngayon, the basketball players today, hindi ubra ng 90s because uh, the game has changed. Right? But for you to be able to keep that longevity and to be at the top of your game, just as Looney is, man, you gotta be a student of the game. And that is a humility on part of Looney. Why? Because he never stops adapting to the newest tune of the rap game. You know what I'm saying? He never stops adapting. Why? There are other veteran artists, rappers, no? that they achieve certain level of success, certain level of greatness that they feel, again, as I've made, made mentions earlier, feel as if the rap game still revolves around them. But truth is, man, you may be great back in your time, but mm, times has changed. Music has changed. People that listen to, to the rap has changed. You know, your fans has grew old. Your song has already grown old. It's old. You know what I'm saying? So the, the, the fans and the listeners of rap now are those who were still kids back in your prime. Like, apanganak lang, or most of the time, hindi pa pinapanganak yung mga listeners kayon back when you're prime. But this goes to show you the humility of, of uh, Looney. Because, again, he knows that and he adapts. He does not feel as if the rap game, you know, revolves around just as some other veterans does they feel as if you know the music you know they they own the music music adapts to them music is the one that you know makes the adjustments to them they feel as if they own the music nah no may pangalan ako like my my flow kahit yung flow nila very what 1999 they still use it though the the tune you know, the, the flow, the rhyme scheme, the bars, and all that stuff is different now. They, you can always say, no, ah, ginagawa na yan noon. Yes, but it was used then on a different way, right? Like basketball, yes. Oh, bola, yung bola, yeah, it's the same size, it's the same ball, it's almost the same rules. Back then, oh, ginagawa, you cannot say that. Ginagawa namin, sinushoot na namin yung bola noon. No, but the, the game now is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, the game now is shooting behind the three-point line. That's the game now. You have to adapt. You know what I'm saying? Before, probably the game is just so back to the basket, post up, like, duck, duck, and all that. But now it's different. It's just different, right? So, that is humility uh, on Looney's part, knowing that the game has changed. The rap scene has changed. The landscape has changed. He, You may be great back in your time but listeners viewers fans the entire rap or hip-hop landscape now is different from back in your time looney is very knowledgeable of that he is humble enough to admit that that's why you don't hear him sound old you know what i'm saying he is like m eminem man I'm not afraid to throw Eminem's name out there because M, man, M is, has been great since, what, the Slim Shady show, LP, right? And to this day, man, everybody still says, what, M is great. Well, F M is 50 now. Imagine, 50 years old. And damn, he still makes same impact to different landscape, different viewers, different uh, um, ages, different uh, fans, like, Man, why? Because M understood that the game has changed. Same goes with, with Looney. And they were able to adapt. That humility, when you accept that, okay, it's different now, you can easily adapt to the current um, landscape, current rules, the current meta of the entire uh, the, the hip-hop scene. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me talk about the humility in, on Flo G's part. Man, Flo G is very humble. On this part, I, I've seen some of the comments na parang, oh, biten, biten. Yes, I honestly am. I, I feel that way. But not for the reason they're saying this one's biten. Na biten daw sila because they were expecting na talagang 
Pukan, like, talagang para sa para as if this is going to be a rap battle who's going to prove who's better rapper. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, they have all the right to expect that. So they feel like, ah, bitento, because we didn't see, like, Looney really versus Floji and, like, proving who's the better or rapper or the better artist. No. On Floji's part, the humility is this. He knows that he is great. I'm saying he knows that he is the best right now. Yet in the same breath, he knows that Looney is the best also. So when you know that you are playing with the best and you know you have this assurance that I am the best, you you don't feel that I need to prove myself. And I'm saying insecure people are the ones who pro- try to prove themselves all the time, right? Because they know to themselves that them being the best is not really rock solid. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, even themselves, they doubt that they are the best. But when you know that you're the best, man, like, look at Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan won't accept just another bet of one-on-one basketball. No. Michael Jordan won't just, oi, Michael Jordan, basketball, and all that. No. He's not gonna just pick a basketball play with you. Why? Because he knows that there's, why do I have to prove myself? I know I'm the best. You know what I'm saying? And that is the security and the humility of Floji shows here that I don't need to do that because I know I'm the best. The same breath that Looney is the best. And knowing that with, with that knowledge, man, Floji did his best to become the best support he can be in this song. Because he knows that this is Looney's song and this is Looney's album. And he admitted that. He did not try to outshine Looney. He he gives his best at the given part to him. You know, he did not try to hijack the song just to prove that he's good, he's the best. Man, he is the best. Same goes with Looney. Looney is also the best. They're both the best. Why can't they be both the best, right? Why can't it be? So man, that that takes what great, uh, great uh, amount of humility. So why do I say that? According to to Flo James, up man, and this comment from Floji, oh sorry, it's not here, uh, it's here. See, Floji himself here. Floji himself said right that it is what somehow his dream to work with Looney. So man, that is levels of respect. Like he wanted to to tell Looney Man, this is my dream to be, you know, just to be on your on the same theme, same song with you. That that the, that requires a damn level of uh, humility, man. I love this. Uh, this is man levels that uh, this are the type of song that we don't get every every year. <laughs> not every day, but every year. This is not I mean these levels of song. This is the songs of like, damn, once in a lifetime kind of moment. So, whew, amazing. And the last thing I love about the secret message, you know, sign of this song that I really love. That's that's the reason I paused it on this certain, certain uh, frame right here is because I love the secret meaning and encouragement from Flo G and Looney on this song. Uh, to all of us who's trying to do our best, who's giving our best, and we are really operating at such high, uh, high level, the secret meaning of the song to me that I get is that every hater is a secret admirer. Yes. Look at these. Look at these. Kiko Mado started off like, you know, hating both of them. But when he was exposed to the greatness of the both, he then realized that you know he 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 did not turn uh, like from from a hater to to becoming a fan. No, it was just the insecurity in him, right? As an artist, that he cannot accept that someone's better, right? So through this, he just cannot accept. So yes, that's the the secret meaning I get. Again, I'm not saying that this is what they intended. All right, what I'm saying is this is another level of meaning of this frame, this exact frame, that I get encouragement to you and to me, to all of us who's doing our best, you know, living the dreams, working hard, you know, putting 
uh, efforts to towards our goals, man, that in every hater, man, lies a secret admirer. So that should be an encouragement enough for you to keep going and do your best, man. I hope you enjoy this reaction, man, as much as I do, bro. There's so much I want to talk about in here, but, you know, those things are already, you know, obvious and common. I'll be stupid enough to tell you all what things you already know, right? These are the things I feel as if, the like, you know, the underlying message of this entire thing and what I enjoy the most. So please um, help me, you know what I'm saying? Don't hate on me. <laughs> hate, uh, help me rather grow by subscribing and uh you know, share in this video and I'll see you in the next reaction. I love you all. Peace out. Mwah.